the popularity of New Brighton as a holiday resort is largely due to the constant work of the publicity and entertainment section, and a wide variety of means are employed to provide for visitors of all ages and tastes. Bathing pools, the pier, and other entertainments are popular features of a progressive program of which the beauty contests each summer attract many thousands of holidaymakers. Perhaps the last chance to see New Brighton in all its glory. The advent of cheap airline flights to the sun of Costa del Sol and the Canaries was just around the corner. Like so many seaside away day places, New Brighton was basking in the autumn sunshine. Prices too were beginning to rise, and the pleasure of the British seaside resort was about to meet the assault of theme parks and leisure complexes. Surprisingly, it wasn't one of the big names, but Lita Rosa who started the Merseyside musical bandwagon rolling in 1953 with her number one hit single, How Much Is That Doggy In The Window? Frank Sinatra, a man who's had a few hits himself, was in town and enjoying a round of golf at Birkdale. 53 was also coronation year. On the 2nd of June, the whole of Merseyside became a street party for the new Queen Elizabeth. Roy Rogers and Trigger rode up the steps of the Adelphi with more than 4,000 fans cheering them on. Sterling Moss won the Aintree Grand Prix in a van wall. And Merseyside was celebrating again in 57 to mark the 750th anniversary of King John's Charter to the city.